one's person. And um, if I make copper chase, I would like to hit the nail. Good. Um, you see, um, I like you. And I would love to marry you. Thank you. I appreciate. But I cannot marry you. <laughs> and why, if I may ask? Is that how you think? You met a girl who doesn't know anything about you. Or probably you don't even know anything about her. And you proposed. I want to believe we're getting to know ourselves better. This conversation is over. Okay, she's my daughter. She doesn't have problems. Good. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Mm, take this. And this one. Can you? Just like that. <laughs> anyway, whatever is up to is none of my business because I have no feelings for him. So I won't give him any chance to abuse. Uh -huh. Are you sure? Well, like this uh, uh, firewood. This so there's no fears. I stand up. This is fast. <laughs> Papa, you called me. Uh-huh. Was it my daughter? Yes, I called you. Please uh, get something and sit down. Okay. Something I want us to discuss. Uh, my daughter, you know I love you so much. I know, Papa. And uh, I know you have not disappointed me. Yeah, Papa, I be a quack. What is all this one again now? If there is something that I want to tell you in confidence, because I know you will not disappoint me. Hmm? Good. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, you see, there is this uh, young man, customer of mine, where I work. Mm. His name is Pascal. He told me that he wants to marry you. <laughs> uh, and uh, he said he has approached you. And you said uh, you are thinking over his proposal. Huh? Papa. Was that what he told you? Uh uh. My daughter, does it matter what he told me? Eh? You know, Pascal is a very successful young man. Eh? And if he marries you, my daughter, uh, our story will definitely change for good. 
Papa, I can't marry him. I cannot marry him. I can't. Eh, uh, my daughter, you see, I suggest you go and think over this matter. Because I know you can't afford to say no. I know you will not disappoint me. Eh? Every single lady out there can do anything you know, to have this young man as a husband. And you are here saying you can't marry him. <laughs> Think about it. My own case is different. I cannot marry somebody I don't love. Love? Uh -huh. Love. Ngozi, did you say love? I don't think you really understand this word, love. You see, like I said earlier, I suggest you go and think about it. By the time we shall be sitting here again, <laughs> I know you will agree. My daughter. Papa, I cannot marry him. Don't worry. I have said my own thing. I have to find somebody I don't know. Our own good Papa, Papa. Hey, what is that, Choma? Papa, why are you so angry? I've noticed your mood like this since. I guess you know why I am angry in this house. Papa, still on that. Papa Bongozi says she doesn't love the young man. She doesn't love him. What are you saying? Come, Choma. You better go and talk to your sister. If your sister Ngozi says she doesn't love a successful man as Pascal, who else is she going to love? A barrel pusher? Or a vulcanizer like me? No, not in this house. Not in this house. You people want to multiply poverty in this house. Papa, but you should know wealth is not everything. Wealth is not. Eh. Wealth is not everything. I agree with you. I can see now that you are on the same page with your sister. Is it not so? Papa. <laughs> Shoma. Papa. What I'm saying is that it would be in the best interest of our family if we should respect her judgment. She doesn't love the young man. What is that supposed to mean? Papa. Choma. Papa. Does that mean that my 